All right. Anyways, it's back to this, y'all. Uh, all right. So far, the game's looking pretty good. Um, go to play. Oh, wait. So once again, uh, I don't, I, I don't think Crane did it. I think Crane, he's, you know, it doesn't stop him from being a creep, but to me, so what's this? the way I see it, Crane didn't do this. If that would make sense, this was. This, this this wasn't something that Crane did. Um, the the best way I can explain it is that obviously he he had an escort. With him having an escort, our stories he, used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone, and I'm supposed to just believe you. Snow. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly, it's her sister Lily. She was looking to pay down debt. Eventually the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. The open arms. Oh my god! What is it? <gasps> it's Crane. The crane didn't do it, see. I I I, I guess. Oh, yeah, I guess he had a crush on Snow. And being a weirdo, he, he had an escort for it. With that being said, it seemed it's somebody trying to sabotage them. Somebody. They were close enough to get Snow White's head. Um. That fucking creep. Spineless little fucking rat. Crane? Yeah. Ugh. God, you'd think you'd know a person. Bigby, you have he to tell her. It, it, it I wouldn't know. Make sense. It wouldn't make sense for him to have a case. What's going on? What did What's you find on? up there? You know, other than the... Crane's the killer. What? Ichabod Crane? How do you know? I don't... I'm, I'm gonna just say Crane's that. I don't... Been... Oh, Bigby, calm down. Play it off as if he is. Everything's going to be fine. Okay, it's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? I have to tell Snow what's going on right now. Okay, it's it's going yeah, because, to be okay. It, it doesn't make sense. Where did you see her last? Why would he have a picture of Did she so, say where she was, was going? Somebody, she somebody, took Holly to the somebody must have been office. outside. To prepare happened. for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Bigby! Wait. What? Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just please be careful when you tell her. What are you trying to say? You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. I gotta show her the truth. But it wouldn't make sense for him to have a picture. Leave his own picture there. This was clearly sabotaged. And with that being so. I don't know, honestly. So, it has something to do with. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. It's somebody close to them, and I gotta find my phone. Quick. Um.
Here it is. Okay. Back to it. Everyone's Lily had many friends, but few fables she was truly close to. If you're here, then you were part of a very special circle. People she trusted and cared for. I won't um, offend you by claiming uh. one day that that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as well as you that it will never subside. But I also know that that the memory of Lily will sustain as well. And it will, in time, equal in strength to our mourning her loss. And it is in that spirit that I'd like to talk about what you've all been I'll so grateful to share I miss worrying about you. I'll Your miss our fights. I'll How miss she you. Stubborn Holly. and patient, rash and thoughtful. How she carried a torch for the old ways. Now you will never die from indifference or lead a tedious life. And most of Goodbye, all, sweetheart. it seems how Thanks for everything. Lily loved Vivian. Dearly loved her friends and family. She loved being around them in good times and bad. You were a big, bright, shining star never met Lily, in this shithole of a town. Told, and I miss you I know already. In my heart. Uh, she would have liked to be here tonight. And now we'll have our um, moment of silence. Thank you. you did. So I, I definitely did the right thing. Um, back out. Along Bigby, with the is okay. everything okay? Smart. No, not you. Holly, it's. He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. I don't want trouble. Look, Holly, I'm not here to start trouble. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? After you lie and say you'll check first? <gasps> no! Holly, I've wait, that to... was Crane, just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body yeah, before yeah. Big B could do anything about it. I forgot all about that. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Bigby gives a shit about this. Holly, it's gonna be okay. Crane's a fucking prick, so this doesn't surprise me. Hey, what do you know? We actually agree on something. Mm -hmm. Bigby cares, Holly. He's trying to help. And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here, anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I probably I shouldn't I know be doing who murdered this. your sister. Who? Maybe we should talk about this somewhere else? What? No, I yeah, deserve I, 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 I to know. I didn't pick the right pick. I know, I, I, pick the right I know, but this isn't the way to go about this. I don't give a fuck about the way. I don't care about procedure. If anyone should be told, it's me. Uh, it's I'm, us, I'm gonna say, right, I'm gonna now. Show off right now. I think it was Ichabod Crane. What? Crane? Crane. Okay, everyone, just stop. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat while everyone else gets back to the funeral. What? I don't you know if this is that really fucking like Crane right murdered mm. Lily and you expect me to- Please, I promise I will tell you what the hell is going on just as soon as I know there's something to tell, but- just let us do our jobs first. Look, Holly, I know how this must- No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? Of course. You won't even know I'm here. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. I don't know if I, I should have did that. It's your turn to talk. But from like the previews, it seems as if no matter what, Crane's gonna drive away. So, with that being said, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Did I do the right thing? Crane. Yeah. I can't believe this. This is someone I've worked I, with for I don't decades. Know. This is a guy. He gets freaking shakes when he has to order food. I mean, what are you telling me? It, it's all an act? 
Just what have you found? Bigby? What's going on? Lily was Crane's prostitute. I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was, you know. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. No. I thought... I thought you should be the first to know. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Deposing Crane would be the next step. And if we get this wrong, it would mean more than our job. I'm gonna have to show the picture. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to show the picture. You took a cab here, right? Yeah. I'll drive. Snow? Narissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. Yeah. I don't mean to be... Um, no, I understand. Take it's just that time. something's come up. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. I did kind of rip off Grindel's arm. Granted, he, like, he it go? deserved it heavily. At the motel. But... Did you find anything? No? Yeah, I, uh, I did. It helped a lot. Thanks. Nerissa! Any, any information yeah, she shouldn't know. Uh, coming! Wouldn't, it wouldn't be good for me to tell her. Constable? Wait, wait, wait. Easy mm -hmm. now, girl. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? Now is really not the time for whatever you jagoffs are planning to do. Well, isn't that the thing of it? Plans. Except it isn't our plans you should be concerning yourself with. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fit to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. Crane? Are you working for Crane? Did he send you? No. See now, you're already asking too many questions. Just pay attention. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours? Okay, um... Brother, just, just don't anyone. hurt anyone, D. That don't sound like a yes to me. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as Wait, planned. wait, 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 Bigby, wait, wait. what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your- What deal? Stop, Stop this me. shit. Right now. He hasn't exactly been a good sport about this. Not making our lives any easier. No, 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 no. <laughs> what did I tell you? What did I say? Ali? Think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Holly, don't move. Oh, and you let me handle this. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. No, no. I'm gonna kill you. No, oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Right here. Go for the gun. Go for the gun. No, 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 no. Could we? No, no. They did it. You're howling. I can't. No. 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 
This ain't how it's supposed to play out. No. Oh my god. Wow. Um. Okay. So this is quite the start. Um. It's not supposed to be like this. Not at all. Um. How, how did I do this? I really. I, I, did I really mess it up though? I, I don't know if I really messed it up. No, I definitely did. I did. Because if I said yes. There's a good chance that it's gonna happen. Grindel's definitely still alive. I, I, I don't think he's still alive. But then again, she already saw him, so I don't. I, I, I think that maybe there was always supposed to be conflict? I don't, I don't know. Um, wow, I definitely didn't do the right decision, I think. Oh my god. It wasn't supposed to be like this. I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <clears throat> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. How's, How's everyone else? else? They all make it? I don't think they're Holly fine. Made it. Oh, wait, what? Okay. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived, so I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. The Titans, Bigby. They'll be fine. It's Just I, remember yeah. what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. I'll try to. All right then, very good. Business office. I know, I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. So, to recap... Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But I, I don't know. There's no other leads. This is it. Just wait for the mirror. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Just... I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but... Do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed those women? I'm as confused as you are, to be honest. I don't know. Just doesn't make sense. He's... He was a conniver. A, a coward. A liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he... Held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really... Terribly. I mean, even worse than Anytime. it did. Anytime. W is my boy. <laughs> you know, you know. Can I um, ask you a question? It's kind of personal. And I, I don't want to offend you, but after tonight. Sure. It's just when stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight. It feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of 
enjoy it when things go wrong. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know... Why even bring this up? I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, guys? We have a problem. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Hmm? What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's, uh... Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. What exactly is the hard way? We'll look through his things, his desk, oh, okay, everything. Okay, 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 okay. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. We can still solve this ourselves. I know never that Never mind that. Come help me look. torn out. Oh, yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? The king. It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what? What witch? What meeting? Well, he called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you, glamours from. I'm sure it's about this ring. They must have it. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. He set the meeting at 2 a.m. Tonight. Mm. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me called to... just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? I tried this to, isn't but... isn't your concern. Uh... Here, get the hell out of here. This is none of your business. I don't know what to None say of my this. business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, no, this because just why isn't was he the looking time. In the mirror? He That's took the a thing. piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Why do you even care about this? Why? I'm invested in this enterprise we call Fable Town. <laughs> okay. Literally invested. Since it's mostly my money that keeps the whole thing running. And tonight I hear that Crane has been killing Fables? And there's no system in place to catch him? Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that who doesn't... Who elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years now. Unofficially is not officially. I'm heading up the investigation, okay, Bluebeard? That makes this a moot point. And somebody needs to run the business office while he does so. Well then, 
Excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. No, no, yeah, no, 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 my God. I pressed the wrong one. Oh my God. Okay, we're good. That's if he's even going there. We're trusting a monkey's interpretation of a phone call. It's not an interpretation. It's what he said, all right? Yeah, and it's what we have. So let's go on it, okay? Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the that witch was. I never do that and again. I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The trip trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. If Holly has Lily's things, that'd probably be the safer bet. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Bluebeard, just stay out of it, all right? You'll just mess things up further. They can't get any more messed up. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or oh, the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. Oops. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. Okay. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? Okay, um... This, this is where it all matters right here. Find the witch. Oh my god, three so options? So we leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. So you leave Crane alone and we leave you alone. Can't do you that. And... No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't... I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. So you oh my god, why is it like this? I'd love to join you, but um, there's some business I need to attend to. Uh, I'm not going to Holly's bar. It doesn't make I'd sense. I'd love to join you. But D's so office. Crane alone? Or Crane's apartment. Join you, but there's I don't, some I don't know I which one. one. Uh, so I'm, 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 I'm just flip, I'm just flip, flip And we leave you alone. Because you and all your acquaintances. I can't, 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 I Head so you leave D's crane office, alone, crane and office leave you alone. Uh, you and all your it says heads, it says heads. If I can show you that, it said it says heads. So I'm gonna just so go you leave crane alone, and we to... leave you alone. You and oh my all god, your acquaintances. Oh my god. no, because it I can't even go by the coin no, anymore because there's three things alone. So you leave crane alone. To join you, but there's some business I need to attend so to. So no matter, I mean, it, I'm gonna have to have So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. I'm gonna go to D's and Dumb must know where he is. I should go to their office first. Perfect. And I'll go to Crane's apartment. I'll look up their address. I hope you know what you're doing. So I guess I just went by the coin, but okay. Not because it, it, it makes sense for me to go to D's office. If if I can figure out where they are. Well, it's not smart for me to do so. 
It's not because they don't, they don't know. Excuse me. Oh, hi. Sure, I don't Phoebe. think this is the right option. Really. I don't great, know. Great to yeah. see you. I don't know if you remember me. I've uh, seen you around, but you may have forgotten. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You, you've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <laughs> I think I've lost count. But you know, Crane uh, let me go recently. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's no big deal. So, what brings you here? I mean, can I help you with anything? Are you here to see one of the brothers? D or Dumb? I was hoping to have a talk with D or Dumb. Do you know where they are? No, yeah, this they don't really I keep don't regular it's... hours as far as I can tell. Sorry. It's been a, a quiet night so far. I think the twins are out. Probably working on a case. Sometimes I don't see them for days. They gave me the job after Crane told me to get lost. He said I was just in the way. Where's their office? Oh, right this way. I, I was going there next anyway. I can let you in if you want. You can wait for them there. Sure. Thanks. No problem. He's probably getting killed, but... Oh, well, he's a side character. I'm gonna have to take a look around. Uh... Well, I, I guess that would be okay. I wasn't really asking for permission. Right. You're the sheriff. I just don't want to get in trouble or anything. I'm sure it's fine. I mean, they never told me not to let you in. It's official fabled town business. Don't worry. Right. Um, hey, brother dumb. I hate dogs, and you know it. Sincerely, brother D. What's that about? They do have their quirks. Ah. Dear brother D, I think we should get ourselves a dog. Sincerely, brother dumb. Couple of freaks. Yeah, why are they saying <sighs> this is pointless? I, I know these guys can come off abrasive at times, but they aren't so bad once you get to know them. And they really care about helping people. They're kind of loud at times, but you get used to it. How do you mean they help people? They're detectives. Anyone can come in here with a problem and they'll do their best to fix it. The way D explains it, it's like if someone lost their cat, well, they could hire them to, you know, track it down. Or like sometimes they get packages for people. They can be like couriers, you know? For who? All kinds. Come to think of it, I don't really know where they keep them. Anyways, I'm just saying, you just don't know them like I do. Sure, flycatcher. No, 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 not talk to flycatcher. Look over here, bro. What's in the cigar box? You know about this? Nah, uh, no. Okay, um, let's just talk to I'm sure you have your reasons, but it's just they, they've done so much for me. Let's see if they've got a file on Crane. Sure do. Ichabod Crane. He owes the crooked man money. Shit. Wait, wait, wait. Pay details. this all back. Request for property acquisition. Further details filed under donkey skin. Crane hired them to look for a photo? Why did he want it back so badly? So that's why they were at her apartment. And the woodsman's place. See, I knew you wouldn't find okay. anything. Anything of interest, anyways. They're, they're detectives, like I said. Just, just trying to make an honest living. I'm finding enough. I'm just saying. Look, just trust me on this. Tweedledee and Dumb are not nice. They're not helping anyone. Well, they helped me. Okay, great, they helped you. That's one person. Now, please, just let me concentrate here. Banning. Who's banning it? Detective Brannigan. Oh, her. Okay. Keep an eye on her.
may have files on Beast. Cinderella, though? I don't... We haven't heard about Cinderella. This is worse than I thought. Oh, right. Shit. Let's look at Cinderella. I don't know what she has to do with this story. Hmm. Find anything? Not what I need. What, what, if, what if you're wrong about them? I'm not. They're misunderstood, sure, but that doesn't mean everything people say about them is true. I mean, you know, like when I think about it, you guys aren't that different. You help people, and they help people. Not that it's any of my business, no, but... Think. Is that what you think? No, no, don't say it like that. Big B? Shit. There's something here. I know there is. There has to be. Why would there be anything Because to... they're lying to you, okay, flycatcher? That's why. They aren't detectives. They're somehow involved in the murders, flycatcher. Two fables are dead. Bigby, what happened to your... Oh, yeah. You, you want to know what this is? This is them showing up to Lily's funeral with fucking shotguns. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, 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 I didn't know. Look, flycatcher. I'll make sure. I, I know I you like them, you. but... It's a part of whatever is happening. Here. I also see that They're picture right there guys. of the wolf. Okay, I, I didn't mean to. There's a door behind this file cabinet. Now, I don't know what they keep back here, but it might be what you're looking for. Well, that key you found should work. I'm probably gonna get him killed, but it sucks, but hey. <clears throat> it's a booby trap. Oh no, it's not, okay. Okay, Packages are okay. What are, what's Hold for BCW. <laughs> sure. What are you looking for exactly? Maybe I can help. Anything about Crane or, or the witch he was using? Something. So maybe I did do the right thing. I don't know. JD. Book. This doesn't really tell us much. Butcher. What is this stuff? Crooked man. I've heard about. Him. I'm sorry. I know I'm late. I'll get it to you soon. Ichabod Crane. Who was he sending money to? Crooked man. Care of the Lucky Pawn. Do you know what that is? Uh, okay, this is... I've already taken money from them. I'm not going to take the money. I'm, I'm going to put the money back. He sees me. I'm, I'm going to leave the money. Is that what you needed? I don't think so, but it's interesting. There's more going on here. I still need to find that witch, though. Can I go back and take the money or no? Hey, Big B. Do you think, after all this, do you think I could come back to the woodlands? Since Crane let me go, I mean, I can still work here, but I don't think I want to now. Well, Crane is gone now. I, I can't see why he couldn't come back to the woodlands. Really? That would be... Thank you. Come by the He's business He's definitely office. gonna die. Uh, I can't make any promises. Yeah. Right, of course. It 
Snow's hair. Snow White? Why... We found her hair like this inside Lily's glamour. Anti-Greenleaf. This must be the witch Crane was using. I guess Dee and Dumb were getting the hair for Crane and sending it to her? That's not a pleasant thought. There's no address on it. So, so what now? Snow would probably want to know about this. I'll check in with the business office. Maybe there's a record of Auntie Greenleaf. I think I saw a phone near the back. Thanks. You're welcome, Sheriff. He's, he's definitely gonna die. Business office, this is Snow White. Hey, Snow. I'm looking at the oh, it's you. I don't, I, uh... Sorry, I've been answering angry phone calls for hours. People want to know where Crane is. How'd it go with the Tweedle brothers? No address yet, but I got a name for Crane's witch, Auntie Greenleaf. You heard of her? No. I'll get Buffkin started looking for a record, but it might take some time. Huh. Somebody's got to know where to find her. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fable Town. Of course, because why half ass being a complete sleazeball? Do you think this is tied to the murders? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter yet. I think it's connected. Maybe the girls found out about it? I don't know. Hmm, maybe. You might want to try Holly's place, see if she hasn't burned Lily's things yet. Or Crane's, you might find something there. Although, Bluebeard's been there. I'll leave it up to you, but we don't have much time. Crane is meeting her at 2 a.m. Crane's I'll go to Crane's apartment, see if there's an address yeah. or something there. Okay. I'll give Buffkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. Bigby, I have to go. Someone just came in. Good luck. Bluebeard burned everything. Hmm? I tried to stop him, but I got here too late. He wouldn't listen to me. Threatened to strangle me if I got too close. There was nothing I could everything. do. Honest! Why would Bluebeard come here just to burn all the Crane's stuff? So he burned a clock? Why a clock? That doesn't make sense. Okay, clock a book. If there was something here I could use to find him, there isn't now. Waste of fucking time. What now? Did the Tweedle brothers have any information about the witch? Just her name. Auntie Greenleaf. You heard of her? No. That's strange. I can check the books for you. How long is that gonna take? If I haven't come across her name before, she's not going to be very easy to track down. I'll head over to the Trip Trap. Maybe I can get some information from Holly. Uh, but... What? After what happened at the funeral? She may not be too happy about seeing you. Are you sure this is a good idea? Mm. You'll do what you want, I'm sure. I'd better go fill Miss White in on the circumstances. She's going to be very disappointed. Good luck. One fifteen. Okay. Um. <laughs> She's asleep, you fucking idiot. You didn't even give me a chance to explain. What's left to explain? Guys, it's me, Bigby. Oh, 
it seems okay. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Well, come on in, buddy. Brent, what? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some <laughs> hospitality. Right? Just something on yeah, him. sure. Thanks. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it. You think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Grant, really, you, you shouldn't drink right now. I can't hear you when you mumble. Swinehart told me that Holly was here. I need to talk to her. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? Well, the doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep, like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Pause this real quick. Yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. Have you seen her sister's things? What wasn't burned at the funeral? I saw her come in with something, but I didn't see where she put it. Nope, haven't seen it. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. Talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. Just keep what? Whatever. It's alright. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. We're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. Look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, right? yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good it, it faith. It should be worth it. Okay. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. <laughs> to the dead. All right, now help me. Gren, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back. I said I was sorry, all right? I can't do anything about it. It's done. No, oh my God, no, 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 no. <laughs> Separate them, obviously. <laughs> What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? Cut this shit out now. I don't care what it's about. Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing? Whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a lowlife. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can he think fled. whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay, because I'll tell you what he thinks. I think whatever happened was between them, and Lily is dead. So let's put this whole thing to rest. I, I really don't think Woody is really... He, he, he. 
I don't think he's really a part of this, honestly. Grin. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the rule. I thought help. you said you would help me look. Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. <laughs> All right, well then, I gotta be quiet, so don't wake her up. No, 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 no. No. Okay. Gotta make sure I don't do that. Sam. Right here. Pick it up and go. Go, go, pick it up and go. Go. Come on, come on. Pick it up and go. Just leave, 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 leave. Don't put it right there, mother. Go leave. <sighs> that you, Woody? <sighs> Woody? Is that you? Woody. Bar's closed. And Lily ain't around anyway, so... You can run off back to the woods, I guess. Why is one of the brothers there? Did you care about her at all? She was a nice girl. Ran around too much, but a nice girl. Just ignore it. Just ignore it. I thought you were a friend. Um, what is that? Address book. Why does she have the address book? What is this? It's the same one as I had? It is. Lily's funeral. It was just so fucked tonight. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he if he cares about it. If he even gives a shit. I don't know. I don't know why he showed up. I just um, wish he'd get out of my fucking life. Trying to do right. He's just he's trying to do what's right. You think so? Yeah. Well, you know him better than anybody, so uh, I guess I'll take your word for it. If you were getting your glamour on this day, then one of these has to be the witch. Auntie Greenleaf. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Jackpot. Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Snow? Oh, thank God. Tell me you found something. I got it, Snow. Her address was here with Lily's things. It's on uh, White Plains Avenue, 1284. It's an apartment complex. Great. Let's get going. Told you not to worry. I told you not to worry. Right. Listen, we have to hurry. I'll meet you down there. All right, I'll see you there. This story still confuses me because who's the actual killer? That's the thing. It doesn't make sense. It just it does not make sense from a logical explanation as to Big why you're committing these. I just got here. Yeah, me too. It's number twenty-three. I haven't seen it yet. 
We're late. Yeah, Two I 14. know. Team. Okay. This is it. All right. How do you want to do this? Listen in. Hear, hear anything? anything? If anyone's in there, they're being awfully quiet. No, we're late. Wait, 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 wait! What are you doing? Well, what does it look on. like? Don't just kick it in! We don't know what's on the other side. Let's just save the last resort for last. Make sense? Fine, okay. What would you have me do instead? I don't know. Knock? I mean, okay. we have no idea what's behind this. <clears throat> Hello? Wait, what? Hi. You woke me up. Uh, sorry about that. Is something wrong? I don't think I've ever seen you before. Don't well, pardon the intrusion. I wasn't aware this was a Munchkin's house. Well, Dorothy, it isn't. No, oh, okay. The right Sharp thing. kid. <laughs> Dorothy's a girl's name, you know. And uh, if I was any less secure in my manhood, I might take it as an insult. What's your name? Rachel. <laughs> What's yours? Just so... We're not strangers. Dearie, I'm the big bad wolf. Big B. Really? <laughs> wow. I I've heard about you. Have you? Yeah, all about how the woodsmen cut you open, fed you rocks for oh, dinner, wow. and then threw you into the ocean. And you can't even swim! Did it leave a scar? Can I see it? Are you and the woodsmen friends? I heard somewhere that you guys are friends. Actually, kid, just call me Bigby. Yeah. Mrs. Snow. Oh. Okay. Is there, um, is there anything you need? Is Auntie Greenleaf at home? Does she live here? You mean my mom? She ever, you know, make the nightstand levitate, turn frogs into cats, that kind of thing? Is she a witch, dear? No, I would never call my mommy that. She treats me all right. Is there uh, something you want? Um, I don't think I can really help you. Talk to Snow, can you just do something here? I, I never have any idea what to say to these people. You mean children? <sighs> do you mind if my friend here takes a look around? I promise we'll be quick so you can hurry back to bed. I didn't give her an option, though. I mean... I didn't. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. Well, no, she herself okay, is Snow, a I'm gonna trust your friend not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. Look for anything unusual. Yeah, like Crane. He could still be here. That your mom? Uh-huh. Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. No accounting for taste. <laughs> okay. It's pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy. That's how we like it. No blast. You like a vampire or something? Um no one's been over all night, so he's just your mama hunter? Oh no, she never that was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain, I think. Mm -hmm. Where do you buy your clothes? At What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um like glamours? Yep. Not here. There's no one here but me. 